Peace, peace and divine blissful blessings, everyone. I hope everybody is doing just just divinely blessed on this Sunday. I know I'm doing really good, and I hope everybody else out there is doing really good. Today we're gonna kick it to straight to the point with the with the facts, with the numbers. So I'm gonna wait for people to get on here. Peace, peace, brother. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for joining in. It's gonna add a little bit more people. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for joining. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I'm gonna give it like one more minute. Have people give people time to come up in here. Peace, peace. Thank you for coming in. All right, all right, all right, all right. What's going on, Damien? Bless up, bless up. Ask some people on here, Damien. Ask some of your people on here. They don't want to miss out on this. I'm about to give it to y'all straight up facts because uh, numbers definitely don't lie. So, All right, cool. We're just going to go ahead and hop into it. So um, today we're going to speak a little bit about your time and what it means to really pay attention to what and who you give your time to. Because your time, you can't get back. You can't get back your time. Once it's, 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 it's then ran this course, it is ran this course. So one of the big, big ways right now we're giving our time away is we're giving our time and energy to things we really don't want to do. We're just doing it to basically just um, make it, or we're just doing it so we can pay rent, or we're just doing it so we can um, send our kids to school. So although all those things is good, and yes, rent has to be paid, and kids definitely want to go to college, there has to be a more um a, a a different approach or a different way to bring in cash flow without giving all of your time because when you have more time to yourself you're able to do the things you want to do you're able to take that pottery class or you're able to see your uh your, your child's uh football or basketball game because you're not um you're not like uh, being consumed by your job. So I want you guys to be really interactive on this. I need somebody to uh, have a calculator for me real quick. So the average person works a nine to five job. Y'all stay with me just for a second. Nine to five job, the average person, right? So we're going to write this real quick because I want y'all to see this. I want y'all to be able to see. Can everybody see that? All right, look. So the average person works. From nine to five, y'all. So that's eight hours, right? Now, what I want somebody to do for me is most people work Monday through Friday. I want you to do eight hours times five days a week. Somebody give me that math. I know what it is, but I want y'all to be here with me. Somebody calculate that for me. Eight hours a day, you are working for five days a week. 40, right? 40. So you're working out of a whole five day period. You're working 40 hours of your life, right? So next we're going to bring it down to uh, free time, right? Me time, free time. So let me ask you this. When y'all get off work, when some people, when some people get off work and they get home, you know, you got to some people got to prepare food for the kids. You know, you got to wind down. You got your wind down thing. So let me ask you, what time does the average person go to bed? Can somebody tell me what's the, what time do you normally go to bed after you get home from work? And then you get home, you cook the food for the family and all of that. What time do you actually Get ready to go to sleep. Can somebody answer me, please, in the chat room? I want y'all to see something right now because numbers don't lie, right? So you're working nine to five, which is eight hours, right? You work at eight hours every day, every day for 40 hours. So can somebody please tell me when they get home, what time when you get home 
between what time you go to sleep, how long you have. I'm going to throw something out there for you. Let's just say you get home from your 9 to 5 at about, okay, 9 p.m. He Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. You go to sleep around 9. You get home at 9, um, uh, Damien, or you going to sleep at 9? Which one is it? You going to sleep at 9? Or, and y'all just stay with me to the end of this presentation. I really want y'all to see these numbers because numbers don't lie. So um, so let's just say, boom, you're getting home at 6 o'clock from your job because it's traffic and you got to pick the kids up. And sometimes you got to even go get something to eat, right? So you're sleeping at 9. So let's just say the average person gets home at 6. And let's just say they're going to sleep at 10. Let's just say give or take 10. You know, let's just say... The average person, they kind of go to sleep at 10 o'clock, right? So that's 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10. So that's four hours, y'all. So you have um, you have four hours to yourself after you get off work. I'm sorry. You got four hours to yourself, right? So four hours times five, right? Because it's five days a week. So for five days a week, you have four hours free time, whatever that may be. That may be consistent of you, you know, making food for your family, trying to sit and read a book, whatever that may be. This is how much you got. So you take four hours and I want y'all to really pay attention because numbers don't lie. Right now, if you can't add somebody that's going to benefit from this conversation, share this video and add them right now so they can see this math because numbers don't lie. So. You got four hours times five days, right? So that's 20 hours right there. So for a five-day time period, you got 20 hours to yourself, Monday through Friday, 20 hours to yourself to do whatever that may be, right? Y'all following me? Y'all, fo If y'all can follow me, throw some likes up there. Throw, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me see. Throw some likes or something up there, some emojis. I want to see, yes, that's what I'm talking about. You following me, you following me. Okay, cool, cool. Bet. Okay, now, now check this out right here. So you sleeping. Let's add up your sleep time, right? So let's just say the average person going to sleep at about 10 o'clock, right? Now, let's just, we're doing 9 to 5, right? So 9 o'clock, what time y'all basically wake up? When y'all got to be to work at 9 o'clock, what time are y'all waking up in the morning? Can somebody tell me real quick? What time are you waking up in the morning to get ready for your, your job, right? Because some people got kids, so some people got to get up extra early, prepare lunch, prepare breakfast. You can, Some people get up really early. So let's just say, let's just go for six, you know what I mean? Because you got to be to work at nine, but you got to be a little bit early and traffic and all that. So let's just hypothetically say, oh, wow, you get up at 535. Okay, so look, let's say six. So from 10 to about 6 o'clock, you're sleeping, right? Um, 10, 11, 11, 12, 21, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. So that's eight hours, right? So it's the same as your own working time. You work in eight hours and you sleep in eight hours. So let's add that up. That's 40, right? So what you're doing right now, this is this is your, your lifetime frame Monday through Friday from a person who ever has to work Monday through Friday. So, you know, you're working... 40 hours for a week, Monday through Friday, you have 20 hours to yourself and to your family. You know, that's not even really enough time to check out a, uh, your, ch your children's games or whatever type of uh, activities that they're doing. And then you take 40 hours and you sleep. Let me tell y'all, 2015, I was sitting at my office, I was sitting down at my desk, and I add this same very thing up. And once I seen these numbers, I knew that I was about to be leaving my nine to five because I know I did not come to this planet to just sit and work and sleep all day when this world is big and I should be exploring it. None of us should. We are all deserving and our time is precious. And so if we can somehow cut down, cut down this area right here, cutting down 40 hours, what if we can What if we can cut it down, let's just say we cut it down where you're only working 20 hours a week because you have another job that brings in passive income. And so some people say, well, what is passive income? What does passive, passive income do? I don't quite understand it. Well, let me tell you, passive income is one of the most important ways 
to bring in income without doing much. That's why the rich is getting rich. You can't be mad at the rich. The information is there for all of us. Okay, so I'm here to tell you passive income is income that comes to you. You don't you don't have to put effort to it, right? It just comes, right? So it's not like active income. Active income, you got to physically do some things to get that money. You know, you got to get up, you got to go to work. And see the thing a thing about active income is, let's just say you get sick. Let's just say something pop off. You, you, you something you, things pop off, y'all. You got to plan for things popping off, right? So let's just say, you know, you got an ailment, you got a, you got, you can't be at work for like two weeks, but guess what? You don't got no sick leave. So you can either A, you know, be hurt and sick and still go to work because you don't want to lose your job or B, you don't go and you lose your job. So your job can re be replaced. So the thing is, what can we do? What can we do to get to the point where we're not per se, given all our time and energy to other people, we are putting that same time and energy into what it is we like to do. So finding out what your passions are, what are you passionate about? Um, and ask the God within you. Ask the God within yourself. Go within you. Meditate and figure it out. Ask, ask yourself. Say, God, within me, please show me what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. Please show me what it is that I'm supposed to be giving to humanity to help them. Ask the God within you. There was this lady, right? She really wanted to know. She, she raised six kids and she was on unemployment. So she was receiving food stamps and money from the government on six kids. And she didn't want to live like that no more. She wanted to leave something for her children. So she asked the God within her, and she said, the guy within her said, you have six children. You should do something with, uh, you should do something with kids. Do something around kids. So you know what that lady did? She got tired of everybody in her block not having a job. So she said, y'all bring y'all kids to my house. I'll watch your kids while you go out and you work. Do you know how many people she freed off that block? Everybody was able to go ahead and get them a job. And then the state and the county that she was in recognized her as a certified daycare specialist. She didn't even have to go to school for that. They gave her the license for it because she was changing lives, you guys. So go within yourself and see what it may be. How can you bring in another source of income? There's all kinds of different ways. You can, you can get passive income. You can get residual income just by being on your computer and surfing the web. That's what you do normal. You know what I mean? That's what you normally do. So I'm going to wrap it up with one more thing real quick. Since y'all see that 40 hours, you're working 40 hours, sleeping 20 hours. I mean, uh, 20 hours to yourself and sleeping 20 hours, right? So let me give y'all a little tip thing. Let me show you how numbers don't lie, right? Because numbers numbers don't lie, right? So we often say a lot that we don't have money. We don't have no money. Well, I don't have no money. I don't really have no money. But let me tell you, we have more money than what we think we have. We really do. When we really start adding up where we put our money at and what we spending on, we start to see that, okay, well, dang, I don't have to go out every week and go buy a pair of Jordans. Or dang, I don't got to go every week and go get a hat. I could put that money to the side. So look, I need y'all to bring y'all calculators out one more time, right? Bring them calculators out one more time. So you're going to work, right? You're going to work Monday through Friday. And every day that you go to work, you're getting a coffee at Starbucks, right? And that coffee costs $5, right? So every morning, Monday through Friday, you're getting that $5 coffee. $5 coffee. And you know what? Matter of fact, let's go ahead and add that good old tax in there. So that coffee $6 because we can't forget about tax. And if you don't own your own business, you're not going to be able to get this on a tax write-off. So um, so you are, you're paying $6 every day, right? So you're going Monday through Friday, so you got six times five. Somebody give me that grand note, that grand number. Anybody, anybody, you, you're paying $6 for the uh, coffee, and you're working five days a week. It's 30 right? 
So every week, Monday through Friday, you are spending $30 on coffee. I'm not saying you are. It could be something else. You could be waking up in the morning, going to your favorite fruit uh, place, and spending six or five or seven or even more on your on your favorite food that you feel like you got to have every morning, right? So let's just say, let's do this by a month so you can see how much money you'll have a month. So if we times this by three more, right? You have, uh, let's see, basically, right? So we got three, six, uh, oops. You got 120, basically. So Monday through Friday, you go into Starbucks, you're spending $6 on your coffee, right? You're spending $6 on your coffee. And so by that month, you didn't spend $120, but you ain't got no money, though. Are y'all following me? Y'all following what I'm saying, right? But we don't have no money, but every day we can spend $6 on that coffee, right? So if you could just cut down and minimize your coffee intake, make coffee at the house, you could save about $60. Because guess what? You're not... You're not buying coffee every day. And guess what? That $60 can go to some type of investment. That $60 can go into some type of um some type of assets for you and your family. Are y'all following me? We have more money than what we think we have, right? So let's do one more scenario because I like it. I like how numbers don't lie. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just here just saying this. Like numbers do they definitely don't lie. And I had to learn that myself. I had to take control of my finances and see my trends i like to eat most of my money was going to food because i like to eat <laughs> you know what i mean it was going on food so let me add up one more thing for y'all so peep game let me let me let me peep game if i if i were to tell you that i can give you an opportunity to get paid straight from your phone with no recruiting, would you want to hear? I need y'all. I need y'all to uh, type in the um chat if y'all would like to hear. If you could sit right at the comforts of your house, or if you could be right at the beach chilling, sipping on a martini or sipping on some coconut water, whatever you like to get down with, right? And you could get cash flow right from your phone, and you ain't got to recruit nobody. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, y'all, the educational platform that I am in is changing lives. They're changing lives every day, and it all starts from a click of a cell phone. There is no recruiting, and you don't need a lot of money. Whoever controls your time controls your mind. Whatever you immerse yourself in, you're going to be the product of that. So what happens is our educational platform is so good, we submerse you into the information. You really get the information. We have live trading experts that have been trading for years that are there to help you. People that are multi-millionaires plus are there to help you. We are here to help you. We are changing lives, you guys. For instance, let me tell you. So, so you got, um, and so let me go ahead and tell you guys for everybody that's interested. It's $195 for the membership, right? Now, if you were to go any, if you was to go anywhere to any type of master trader or trader club or go learn to how to be a trader, you're gonna pay a thousand plus to get this type of education that we're getting. We are a nation of traders that team up with other traders all over the nation to bring this education to you guys. Okay, to bring the education to you guys. The education is right there, right? So it's one ninety five to just get started, right? One ninety five. It's one hundred and forty five dollars each month after that, right? Each month, but 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 and because everybody likes but but. 
So our company doesn't require that you do any recruiting. But what they will give you is an incentive. They will give you a bonus. They will give you a bonus if you refer somebody. Let me tell you, you refer people to restaurants. You refer people to websites. You refer people to different shopping places. And do you get paid for that? Do you get paid for telling your homegirl how you ate at uh, this vegan restaurant down the street? Is that vegan restaurant giving you a free sandwich when you come in there? Are you getting getting your money for, for, for basically telling people about other people's business? Can I get a what? No, you're not. Okay? So that's what separates us from the rest of these companies because it's a choice. If you choose to tell somebody, you have the choice to get a bonus. And the more people you tell, the more your bonus is going to be. So you don't have to recruit. But if you would like a bonus check, why not? That's passive income coming to you. So look, this is my last thing. Thank y'all for, sta uh, for staying with me on here, right? This is my last thing. Now I want y'all to do this math because numbers don't lie. Do y'all hear me? Numbers don't lie. So look, it's $145 a month. People like, well... I can't pay the 145. They passionate about it. They want to do it, but they say they can't pay the 145. Well, peak game. I got a nice little tool for you. It's going to set you off real straight, right? So let's just say you um have $4.75, right? I want you to do somebody get your calculator real quick. Do $4.75 times 31. Somebody give me the math real quick. Come on, come on. Give me the math. So you say $4.75. And 75 cents a day. Somebody do the math for me real quick. I ain't got my calculator, but I want y'all to see these numbers because numbers don't lie, though. Numbers don't lie. I can say whatever I want, but these numbers ain't going to lie to you, right? So somebody add it up for me real quick. Uh, $4.75 times 31. Can one of my team members or somebody add it up for me real quick? Because I want you to see that you can pay $145 a month for this education. Because for one thing, you're going to become a skilled trader. You can make $145 within a couple of minutes. Within a couple of minutes, taking pennies. Taking pennies and changing pennies into $145. Somebody got that for me? Did somebody add that up in the calculator for me? I need somebody to add up $4.75 times 31 days. Can somebody do that for me real quick? Um, let me see if I got my calculator out real quick because I need I need y'all to see these numbers. I definitely need y'all to see these numbers. I don't know if somebody got that added up. I'm about to add it up on my phone real quick for y'all. Um, give me one second because I want y'all to see these I want y'all to see these numbers and, and, and let you know that we have more than what we think we have, you guys. So, boom. $4. Okay, so, boom. Okay, y'all, look. So, look. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Keith. Thank you. Peace, peace. So, look. So, if you save $4.75 a day, you would have $147.25 a month. There goes your $145 for your education. And guess what? You got $2.25 to spare. Go get you a, a, a juice or something or an apple or something. So you can do the 145 And then some people say, well, look, I'm not even really sure if I could do $4.75 every day. I might can do $2 a day. That's cool, too, because guess what? I got a cool extension for you where you could go do surveys. You could go do surveys for 25 cent, for 15 cent, for 10 cent, and the surveys be 5, 10, and 15 minutes. Well, guess what? There go your $4.75 cent. You took maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes of your time. You did a couple of surveys, and guess what? You got your 475 for that day to go ahead so you'll be able to get this education because this skill this skill in 4x right now this skill is paying people okay people are getting paid daily you can make this in one trade and then still trade the rest of the day and still be banking so numbers don't lie y'all numbers don't lie you know what i'm saying numbers don't lie it's time for us to stand in our financial uh security and, and 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 be our own banks and know that we are worthy because whatever type of god 
Allah, Buddha, the universe, whatever you believe in, do you think that that omnipresence brought us here to just be working for other people? Do you think that we come to this planet just to work and that's it? Come on now. You got to think about it. If God and Buddha and Allah are all these magnificent, magnificent, oof, I can't even get it out, magnificent beings, then what do you think we are? We're made in their image. We are magnificent too. We deserve fine things too. Don't be getting mad at the rich because the rich doing they doing. The information is there. We just got to educate ourselves, fam. And let me tell you, I believe in each and every one of you that have joined this call right now because I believe in myself. I believe in myself. So if I can believe in myself, I can believe in you because we are all the same, fam. We are all the same. So for y'all who's just joining, I'm going to run it back real quick for y'all. So the average nine to five person that works, they work eight hours a day and they work 40 hours Monday through Friday. When you get home, you have about six to 10 o'clock to have free time. This is your free time, right? And so that's about four hours, right? So you have four hours of free time times five days. That equals 20. So you have 20 hours of your free time. And you have 40 hours of your working. And then you come and you sleep, right? So you're sleeping to about 10 to about 6, right? That's eight hours. So every day you're sleeping. Whoa, my bad, y'all. <laughs> it's going, it's, the energy is just popping today. One second. Shit, we don't even really need the board no more. All right, my bad. Okay, cool. So you're working eight hours, eight hours times 40, right? So you're sleeping eight hours, and Monday through Friday, that's 40 hours. You have 20 hours to yourself, and you're working 40 hours, y'all. It's important. Now do you see why it's important to have passive income? It's important to really build yourself up and you know, not building all these comp companies up. We are in a, a economical financial shift and normal jobs as we know it is being replaced by robots, is being replaced by um, technology, is being placed on basically time. It's all about how fast can you get a product out. You don't have to feed robots. You don't have to give robots um, lunch breaks. Y'all remember Blockbuster? Blockbuster not even here no more. Think about all those people who lost their job to uh, Hulu, Hulu, Net Netflix. Don't nobody go to Blockbuster no more. Don't nobody even really call taxi companies no more. They doing Lyft. They doing Uber. Y'all, your jobs will be replaced. I'm not saying this to be fearful or scary. I'm telling you this because I got the hindsight to see what's coming already. So I'm trying to bring this awareness to you so you'll know how to prepare. So you'll know how to leave a financial legacy for your family. This is not even about get money or die rich trying. This is not about getting fast money. This is about securing a future for you and your family. That's what this is about, fam. So I'm not going to stay on here too long. I just wanted to come and give it to y'all just like this straight up if you know somebody that can benefit from this video please like subscribe to all my youtube um uh followers out there and family please subscribe to my uh, youtube uh page i put out a lot of good information this call should be packed because there's a lot of people who don't know about financial literacy and this call needs to be packed i didn't even know myself i'm still stepping into learning new stuff myself you know what i mean so share this video people need to hear it. this needs to go viral people need to see these numbers people need to see these numbers okay fam they need to see these numbers so share this video I'm going to upload it to my YouTube channel I'm going to repost it check my YouTube channel out if you are interested in making cash flow, extra cash flow to your, uh, in your, um, from your phone, right? From your phone, no recruiting, just let me know, all right? Inbox me. Peace and love, fam. I'm out.